Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to use the potentiometer and to change the brightness of LEDs. So here in this particular experiment, I'm going to teach you how to use a potentiometer and to change the value of the current in the circuit so that we can change the brightness of the LEDs in the circuit. And to do that, first of all, you need to log in into your account, go to tinkercat.com, sign in with the Google and you will be in your account once you reach at your dashboard click on design click on create and circuits once you fully logged in into your circuit then find one arduino take the arduino and the basic component that is breadboard before moving further let me explain you about this circuit here in this particular circuit what i'm going to do is i'm going to use three different color leds and uh, those LEDs, the brightness of those LEDs, I'm going to change using a potentiometer. So here, when I'm creating a circuit, I'm going to use three different LEDs of different colors. They will be connected through the Arduino and I'm going to use one potentiometer and that potentiometer is going to change the current which will be flowing through the circuit. Till now, in previous experiments, we have seen how we can apply one or zero. Now, when we need to change, we need to change the brightness. It means we need to change, we need to variate the current which is flowing in the circuit so that the brightness of the LEDs will go up or go down. And uh, for that, the potentiometer is basically a component which offers the resistance, different resistance from 0 to 250 ohms into the circuit. So the next thing that we are going to consider is the LED and we are going to make simple LED circuit that already we had made previously. So I'm taking three different LEDs here in my particular experiment to show you different color options. And uh, here, three LEDs I have taken. The first one is red. Second, I will change the color to green. And third, I will change the color to, let's consider orange uh, or yellow. Okay, so these three LEDs are there. I need to connect it through the Arduino board. So first we need to provide ground and power supply. So the ground button, I will connect like this and I will connect here so that in this row, everywhere I can get the ground connection. And similarly, I need to provide the VCC power supply also. And for that, I will go down. I will take the plus five volt power supply like this and that. I will connect to the last point here. Now in this particular circuit, you can see we are getting the ground here and the five volt power supply here. So five volt color here, wire color is green that I need to change. I will put it to red. Okay. Now I need to connect all the cathode terminal to the ground and anode terminal through a resistor to different pins of your Arduino. So let me again change the color of the wire and I will connect all the cathode terminal to ground like this and then I need to take some resistors. This is resistor. I will connect those resistors to different pins. Now I need to change the value of the resistance. So 220 ohm, I will keep it here also 220 ohms. And for the third resistor also 220 ohms. Now I need to connect these to my different pins. I will take pins like uh, here. This will be connected to let's consider pin number 11. Next one, I'll connect to pin number 10. Okay. And the last one I will connect to pin number six. Let's consider six. Okay. I will change the color of these wires because these are the positive terminals. So red, this also to the red color and this also to the red color. Okay. Now my LED circuit is ready. I need to uh, write the program, but I want the potentiometer to be incorporated so that the brightness of LEDs I can change. So for that, I will type potentiometer here, P-O-T-E, and then potentiometer option will come. This is the potentiometer. Now you need to once see what exactly is the potentiometer. 
the potentiometer is a device which is having three different terminals terminal 1 the wiper and the terminal 2 one terminal terminal 1 is always connected to the ground so this connection i will do to the ground ground is green so let me change the color of the wire and the terminal 2 is always connected to power supply 5 volt so this i have connected and here also i need to change the color because i want red here okay and the middle terminal will be connected to any of the analog input pin of arduino because from here i want to operate the brightness of these leds so when i am going to move change the values from here that will be sensed by my microcontroller by my arduino and then after based on that value the arduino is going to give me the output i hope you are understanding what i am going to say is the potentiometer when i will be changing the value of the potentiometer the potentiometer will apply some value and that value i need to give to my arduino so that the arduino will sense that value and based on that value which was sensed by the arduino the arduino is accordingly going to give values to the leds so in place of simply transmitting one or zero to these leds now i am going to operate these leds based on the input provided by the potentiometer the wiper pin i need to connect again that will be red color so the wiper will be connected to any analog pin as of now i am using a zero pin the first analog pin and there i am connecting my potentiometer so that the potentiometer will give the input to my a0 pin so my circuit connection is done it is very simple you can see and here also just like uh, in the previous experiment where we did the switch the led and the potentiometer there is no connection so here also leds leds are connected separately and the potentiometer is connected separately now coming to the code because the circuit is ready i need to write the code so we'll go on the code and then whatever pre let it be whatever pre written codes are there that i'll delete and then now i need to start the coding okay so here to start the coding few things we need to keep in mind leds are similarly like uh, earlier we had used the led in that way we are going to use it but the potentiometer is going to give you the analog input and that i am sensing from the a0 pin so i need to sense some value through a0 pin and for that i need to have some memory and because of that we need to write a variable so here click on variables select a variable and because it is a potentiometer as a sensor it is working and giving me some value so i will uh, name it as sensor value okay so my uh, variable name is sensor value that i have uh, taken and accordingly i am going to write my program i am defining one variable that is sensor value and based on that i am going to change these uh, the lights of these leds now when i have defined this i need to define what exactly the sensor value where exactly i have connected so i have connected the sensor value here to the a0 pin so i will take set sensor value to which particular pin i have taken as input so i will go into input and which pin i am reading the analog pin so here this one i will drop here and this will be put to a0 so what this particular code is going to do is this particular code is going to set up the sensor value to read analog a0 so the sensor value my variable the sensor value will now have the value which will be given to the a0 pin okay so this is my uh, setup now i need to write the code for these three leds to control so i will simply go on to the output and now if i am using this here i don't have any option to change whatever values are here i can put high and low but this particular set pin number three or four or five to this value here i have a option of changing something like we have seen in previous so i will use this option set pin number now pin number first led is connected to pin number 11 so i will take it to pin number 11 okay and what we need to change is we need to get the value as per the read analog pin a0 whatever value that is having okay so i will simply here go again to the variable and what i am going to do is i will put here as sensor value now the pin number 11 will be set as per the sensor value similarly i'll go into the output i will take another thing and that 
next led is connected to pin number 10 and that will be equal to the sensor value the third output set pin number uh, next pin is connected to d6 means pin number 6 so pin number 6 to the sorry sensor value variables sensor value okay now we will see how it functions actually i have written the program in such a way that i am setting the sensor value variable to pin number a0 and then after i am setting as per the value whatever a0 will get that same value is given to pin number 11 10 and 6 and accordingly it is going to act i need to give one delay also though that also i'll give some delay let me wait one second yeah so now i will show you the output and we'll check how it works you can see here when i am changing the potentiometer the light is changing in this way we can change the brightness of the led so you can see here Whenever I am changing the value on the potentiometer, the light, the value, the brightness of the LEDs are changing. And accordingly, we can control the brightness of the LED using our potentiometer. One thing you need to remember here that the potentiometer, the value is giving up to 1024. So if we will divide the value of the potentiometer by 4, then it will give us the value till 250. And that will be sufficient. Then only when we will be here, you may observe that here, the value is at peak. I am going changing. Now the value is getting down. And then after again it is peak. Again it will go down. Again it will go peak. Again it will go down. And again it is going peak and down. So here what is happening because the potentiometer is uh, giving me the output from 0 to 1024. But the LED capacity is only to bear up to 256. So that's why four times in this potentiometer, four times when I'm variating the values of potentiometer, the uh, light of the signal is moving up or down. So this is your experiment of uh, changing the brightness of the LEDs using the potentiometer. I hope you all might have understood this concept. Thank you for watching my YouTube. If you like, give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.